Yo, what's up everybody? This is Wood from For The Billions. And today we're gonna to be discussing a video I just saw titled, Working at a Warehouse Got Me Stressed and Depressed. Okay, so this video, I saw it and I was like, okay, this is something I kind of went through when I was younger. I was in college and I was working in a warehouse and these people didn't respect me and all these other kinds of things that were going on back then. And I'm seeing a lot of it in this video as well. Uh, I do want to do like an analysis of it and let you guys know uh, my recommendations of things that can help improve this situation uh, and just, you know, my overall reaction to it. If you guys don't know, I'm a data engineer with over five years of experience and I am somebody who wants people to be the best of the best and to strive to be the, the to be going for the number one spot so that being said let's go ahead and get into this video uh of working at a warehouse got me stressed and depressed all right here we go man what's happening system plantation <laughs> like you know every every week i go back to work it feel like man like i'm going back to a plantation a slave system all right before he goes on any further a few things about this video that really stands out to me is that he admits that he has never worked a career or had a uh, steady job before he was in the streets hustling and he makes a great point that most of his friends are either dead or in jail. 
which is what they always tell you about uh, selling drugs or being in the streets and stuff like that. It's just something that you really don't want to do, especially when you have three kids. Oh, yeah, two kids at the time of this recording, and then he had a third one on the way. Um, so I'm glad that he is no longer uh, selling drugs and pretty much poisoning the community. But one thing I will say is uh, that we need to start telling people that, hey, you know, when you're growing up, you don't want to be out here selling drugs and being on the streets. It's actually a lot easier to live a more fulfilling life if you, you know, do well in school, get a job and start your career and stuff like that. And what happens a lot of the time is you have people who are just not competent, uh, meaning that they aren't able to do the type of work that will make them a lot of money or will fulfill them in a uh, great way. Right. So, Right now, he's saying that he's trapped. He's working in a warehouse. I used to work in a warehouse, man. These people are not happy working in a warehouse. I have when I was working in a warehouse, nobody was happy. Um, everybody was like, I was a temp worker, and I I've been a temp work. I was a temp worker working in multiple different warehouses. People, the people there don't respect you. You're there with some of the worst kinds of people. Uh, with people who you know sell drugs there's people who you know do things with um with kids and stuff like that um there's like other kinds of felons and you know you're just around a terrible environment that doesn't lead you to grow so and then he does the, the warehouse and he also does doordash let me tell you guys, I used to do Uber, Lyft, and DoorDash when I was in college and a little bit after college. And uh, I realized I wasn't making that much money at all. I was making around minimum wage doing all of those different ride sharing uh, services and food delivery services. And I wasn't able to do anything financially. I would work for like five hours straight doing Uber on the weekend. And I would make like $50 because nobody wants a tip. So this is just to let you guys know like, Hey, we should be striving to be the best of the best in our own lives. We shouldn't just be cool with, you know, doing things just to get by, right? We should be striving for growth. Um, and, in the warehouse that he's working at, there's no opportunity for growth. And really it is because like they barely pay you enough to get by and then, but you know, they pay you enough to where you not going to quit because you're getting enough money to live, but then they're not paying you enough to, to thrive, like to, you know what I mean? Do other shit, stack money and do all that. So, if I, I mean, I'm pretty sure if I was younger, my younger self working here, no kids, no, no family, no wifey like type shit, it'd be different. You know what I'm saying? I'd be stacking to get up out of here. Like I, I had a job a while back. I stacked like $10,000 at this warehouse I was working at. And then I did. And, but I went back to the, the dope game, the streets, you feel me with that money. And I did my thing though. But it started getting ugly. You feel me? People getting locked up, all type of shit. By the grace of God, I done, I still got my freedom. And before he moves on even further than that, I just said that he. So by him getting out of the dope game and selling drugs and stuff, that was a good decision to get out of it, uh, because he said his friends and his friends were getting killed and going to jail. Then he already saw that they were going to jail. He saved up $10,000 and then went on to go right back to selling drugs and then ended up right back where he was initially back in the warehouse. Guys, you have to be able to have better decision making than this. Okay. Because all he did was 
make a 360 move. He ended up right back where he started. And actually, he's in an even worse position now because he has to account for another kid that's on the way. So before when he was doing that, he was able to save up some more money. Now he has to bring another child into this world, but with less money that he can have to actually sit sit there and stack and grow and be able to get into a better position for him and his family. $10,000 isn't a lot of money, especially when you got, well, at that time it was him, his two kids and his wife. So you got four people. Now you got a, a fifth person on the way. You even worse, you know, even worse position than you were before. But now I got kids, new kids, baby kids, and I just can't afford to be slipping up, taking no chances. That's why I stay just having a job. You know what I'm saying? Um, but it's really stressing me out, man. I stay stressed. And I'm not feeling this type of lifestyle. It's like, damn. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't want this for my son. Like, hell no. You feel me? But I'm going to figure it out. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I think I'm fucking around to go back to school, graduate. I'm, I'm down. I got credits in community college. I'm down there about to graduate that. I just been, I ain't been going because of the damn job. It's too much. You know what I'm saying? To go to this school and to work this stressful ass job it's a warehouse job it's been too much i put it off but i'm about to get back on you know what i'm saying and get this degree and then keep going studying and something i like like you know i don't even know what type of job i would get in it but i like psychology i'm really big on all right i'm gonna stop you right there i can't listen no more uh he said he gonna get a degree in psychology okay that being said guys that being said, guys, I'm going to go ahead and close it on out. Um, overall, I think that as a man, you have to be able to take care of yourself and your family, uh, putting them, uh, your, you know, putting your family unit first, especially when you're talking about, um, you know, growing older and being able to enjoy experiences. You know, I don't know what the whole end game is with him because nobody wants to sit there and just be working in a warehouse, not growing, not getting promotions, not doing anything more, not making more money. Uh, but I think that's what exactly what's going on. He says he wants to go to community college and get a degree. But as I would always say is you should always try to get a degree in a in a in a path in the career path that will get you the best return on investment such as like a stem degree so if you get a stem degree or if you get a degree in some sort of health care or if you get a degree in law he looks to be older than i am uh he looks because i'm 28 right now so he looks like he's in his 30s and you know i I don't know. I, I don't know why he's talking about going to get a degree in psychology because nobody's really hiring a psychologist, um, especially, um, you know, when you don't have any work experience outside of the warehouse. But all right, guys, I will see you all in the next video. Let me know what you think about this video in the comments down below. I wish him and his family a uh, good luck. Uh, with it, their future endeavors. I wouldn't suggest getting a psychology degree though. I will say that. And um, yeah, hopefully he's able to find employment that does have some growth opportunities for him. All you have to do is get a high earning skill and then uh, you'll be able to leverage that to be able to get a better paying job. That being said, guys, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.